Okay, hello everyone. I'm back in my little corner. Um, I just went to two thrift stores. This is gonna be like a combined um, thrift haul. I went to first my local thrift store, which is my absolute favorite. They were running a 50% off sale on dresses, shorts, tank tops, capri pants, and swimwear. Um, so I got everything from those half off. I picked up a few other things too. And then I went to Valley Village because I had a 10% off coupon and then everything else that they were, that you bought had like five times the points and they had like a little free pin um, for thrift store day, which was nice. So I'm gonna start, I have a lot of brand new with tag and I'll let you know like what store I got everything from. I just threw it in a bag. First, we're gonna start with these sandals. So I got these pair of eco sandals. They don't even look worn, and if they were worn, they were very lightly worn. So here they are. This is a Canadian brand, and they're a really big, like, comfort brand. So I was excited to pick these up. They only had them listed at $7.99. So these are reselling for about $40. So hopefully I can get these up quickly before the summer ends and people don't want sales anymore. <laughs> So I got those. Um, I have a pile here of like new tech or vintage things that I can't wash. So the first thing, brand new tag silver jean company dress. So it has like this crochet detailing at the top, all the way down, kind of like a peasant skirt, bottom, raw hem, size medium. I thought it was just really cute. I'm wearing black, you can't see anything. It's like this crepe material. Really pretty, um, it retails for $68. All my average cost of goods at this thrift store, which is Salvation Army, um, my average cost of goods was under $6. So it was uh, $5.70. So I got this dress for $5.70. Then this was on one of their new racks and I like saw the label and I snagged that so fast. This is just a Wilfred Free, sorry, it's really wrinkled. Um, Wilfred Free t-shirt dress. And this really pretty plum color. So I think this will do well for fall. Um, again, brand new with tag. It doesn't show the actual price of what this was. Whoever had this before kind of ripped it off. It's in a size extra small. Again, I think like every video I talk about Wilfred, how I'm not gonna pick them up anymore. But because it was new with tag, I decided to pick it up. Next is this vintage velour dress, just gorgeous. Sleeveless, maxi velour dress. I think it's just so elegant. Um, I just love vintage, as you guys know. So this is in a size, doesn't say, doesn't say. So I have to measure, but I know that they had it measured as like an extra large, and I think that that's pretty accurate, but I'll measure it just in case. So I got that one. Then I picked up this Eloquy dress. This is also new with tag. It has a Walmart tag on it, or it had one, I took it off. So it actually retails for $30. I didn't even know Walmart made a collaboration with Eloquy, but it's a maxi dress, it's t-shirt length, and then it has these cutouts at the back, which I thought was cute. And then it has these side slits with the dress. So I thought that was a nice dress. Next thing is this. Um, in every story dress, I think I talked about this in my last haul where my friend Michelle told me to look out for this brand because it sells for good money and it sells quickly. So I got this pattern dress, it has, it's like quarter length sleeves, kind of like a little bubble sleeve or balloon sleeve, it has a tie in the back, I thought it was cute. This is in a size 20. I got this old Lulu's dress. I was really contemplating whether or not I should get it, but I figured because it's white and the way that it looks, it could be sold kind of like as a, like a wedding, a bridal party dress or like a bridal shower, something like that. So it's just this halter neck Lulu's dress. It's a mini. It has this lace detail in the back here. So I thought this was sweet. It has a little bit of like discoloration in the collar, so I'm gonna try to get that out. But either way, I thought this was like a really nice find for someone who um, was gonna celebrate their wedding. This is in a size large, so I thought that was a good size too. So we're gonna take the risk and we're gonna see. The next thing is this linen vintage dress. I think this, I, am I this person that's just gonna dress like this? I think this is a stunning dress. So it has this like, high neck or high neck crew neck I don't know um 
dress. It's long sleeve, button down. Beautiful pattern dress, buttons all the way to the bottom. It's like a mini length, and then it has this tie that you would tie at the back. So I thought this was so cute. It's very like milkmaid. Um, it's a really quality piece, like really, really good quality. So um, I picked that up. I got another vintage piece. This one's so cute. This is like totally like back to school uniform, like clueless type style. So it's just this midi um, checkered dress, sleeveless, very cute, very preppy. I also picked up this Topshop dress. So this was tagged and then tagged again at a lower price. So yeah, nothing special about it, just really basic, top chop, um, size six. Um, next was this Brandy Melville dress. This one didn't have a tag, so I had to go get them to re-tag it. But just a easy v-neck maxi dress. <laughs> this dress, I'm obsessed with it. I don't know. I don't, I've never heard of this brand. Um, it's just so beautiful. Uh, so it's like pretty much fully beaded around the waist and up here and on the sleeves. It has this like satin band around the um, waist, which is so pretty. It ties in the back, buttons up in the back. So I thought this was like such like a beautiful wedding guest or occasion or prom or something. Oh my God, it's just so, it's stunning. It's in this like peachy color. I don't know, I really, really like it. Reminds me of like 13 going on 30 vibes. <laughs> Next is this another um, in every story dress, black dress with these big floral prints on them. Ruching up the sleeve and rouging on the front, up into a swing style, midi dress. Never heard of this brand, but then I looked it up and it's an anthropology brand. It is Edme and, oh, am I even gonna try? As nope, I'm not. <laughs> this tribal print, I don't know, is this tribal print? Printed mini dress, it buttons down, and then it has that tie around the front. Sorry, I know it's hard to tell, um, but the cops looked good. It looked around $60 for this. Next is something I thought was really cute and a really good find. So this is by a brand called Harlow. I thought this was like a really cute fall print. It's in an extra large, um, just like a skater, almost like a skater dress. So I thought this was cute. Almost, like It's almost like soft, like a, like a flannel, like a true flannel. Next thing I picked up was this pair of like Zara shorts, Zara basics. I don't know if it's missing a belt. Almost looks like it is, but I mean, it was like three bucks. So I thought I'd just pick it up. It has this like faux pocket back. But I thought this would be a good fall, like fall staple as well. You don't just have to wear shorts in the summer. Here's the top to the bathing suit. So I got, like they were marked separately, but they're the same size and the same color. So I was like, um, I don't know why. So this is a strapless, from what it looks like, a strapless. Oh no, it had straps. Ah, that's annoying. Well, it's being listed as a strapless. So I got a strapless Kate Spade bathing suit. So it looks like this, the stripes, and then it has this cute bow in the back. And then the little bikini bottoms. And then, okay, I think that's everything that I got at that thrift store. Now, onto Valley Village. I don't like to pick anything up unless I know that it'll be worth it because everything is just so expensive, even with coupons and everything. So the first thing I got was this long sleeve crew neck. It's like acid washed, has this like interesting detail here. Acid washed shirt with this like raw hem, kind of like detail on the front, raw hem at the bottom. This sleeve looks like, I thought this was cute. This is two by Vince Camuto. I couldn't really see how Vince Camino performed when I check comps, but I thought like style alone and like what it had going for it, I thought it'd be worth picking up. So I grabbed this. Next item was this Eileen Fisher top. So it is just a very lightweight, basic, quarter length sleeves. This is in a size large. 
So I thought this was a nice basic for the fall time. So next item I picked up are these Torrid jeans. These are jeggings. I haven't picked up Torrid except for in the last haul and I haven't even listed those yet. So for me, I'm not even sure how they're gonna perform. I hope well. So I did take a chance on these uh, three buttons here, really stretchy cotton denim. Again, hardly worn, medium wash. So I thought this was like a good pickup. They're really not even worn in the crotch. So I'm excited for that. The next thing I picked up, more denim. Um, I picked up American Apparel jeans. I saw someone recently talking about them and I know that they went out of business. So um, I think they caught, like the comps looked really, really good. So these are in a size 29, I think. Yeah, size 29, dark wash mom jean i think it's literally called the mom jean um cuff at the ankle straight leg classic looks like it's in great condition and these are like really high waisted i find their their denim um so yeah i think they're still going to really perform well for the fall time another pair of jeans last pair page denim um, i listed the other pair of page denim and that hasn't done well so i don't know <laughs> Uh, what how if this is even gonna go well for me at all. I don't sell denim I keep picking it up and I don't sell denim page denim size 28. This is a medium wash It has like this distressing at the um, knee, which looks great. Like it doesn't look like it was like Worn much at all So I'm excited to see how those do we don't have a lot of those listed on Poshmark Canada right now So that might give me a little bit of an edge But I think I can list this for 50 and see how much I can actually end up getting for them. And then the last thing in here, another in every story item. I got this like tunic top. Whoever wore this smells so good. I mean, it's so weird. Like I just love their detergent. It just smells so yummy. Just this like fine knit long sleeve, kind of like a peasant top and this beautiful periwinkle. I love periwinkle. So it looks like this just comes down at the side here so i think um or hopefully that'll do well all right so that's everything i got uh today for national thrift store day um, i'm excited for all the things that i've got i don't think i'm gonna go thrifting again for a while i have so much merchandise that i need to list i need to photograph i need to list um so much so if you liked anything please feel free to send me a message on instagram my closet instagram is called clueless closet um my personal instagram is at clueless underscore and um yeah that's where you can find me on poshmark as well at clueless so yeah if you guys um like this video please give it a thumbs up i really appreciate it feel free to subscribe if you want to as well lily would really like you too um and that's everything for me for today so uh you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next one